Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel today. I'm at the McDonald's Golden Arches at the Global Menu Chicago headquarters to try a series of their next round of global favorites. I have one, two, three, four items that I'm going to taste in this video. But yesterday I also went there to see what they had um, and I also tried one other thing that I'm not going to be doing for the video but I did do so I just want to mention it. Closer. There we go. And that was the it was 280 yeah the 280 original 280 I'm not sure if it's pronounced 280 280 it's from France so it's probably pronounced with French words, but basically it is this sandwich. I took a picture of it, and if I remember to, I'm gonna post it here in one of those corners. Anyway, that was a quarter pound cheeseburger. It had both American and Swiss cheese, um, tomatoes, onions, and a mayo sauce on a ciabatta roll bun and i gotta say it tasted like a quarter pounder with cheese uh, if you go to the france website it does say emmental cheese as well as a lemony mayo but i think they just use regular swiss i think emmental is a sl as a type of swiss but they didn't say it was emmental they just said it was swiss cheese and the mayo just seemed like regular mayo didn't have any like lemoniness to it. it also didn't say that any of the menus that it was lemony um, only if you went to the France website and looked at their 280 burger did it mention Emmental cheese and a lemony mayo. Um, so really the big difference was the bun, the ciabatta roll. And I gotta say, if I'm gonna get a quarter pounder, I'd rather have it on a soft, regular style bun than the ciabatta roll, which is denser, tougher to bite through, chewier, etc. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to what we have in this video. I have two sandwiches. The first sandwich that I'm going to try is called the Mikalu Tiki. And the Mikalu Tiki comes with tomato mayo. So the mayo is supposed to be tomato flavor. Slices of Roma tomato, red onion, a alu tiki patty, and a regular bun and it's in this wrapper here it is a regular looking bun the male person is dropping off some right now flip open we do have like a reddish colored mayo so that might be the tomato mayo we have slices of tomato we have red onions Tiki, Mc, Tiki, the Alu Tiki patty on the sandwich, which is called the Mick Alu Tiki. It's called the Mick Alu Tiki. The patty is a Tiki Alu patty. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think it's like a falafel kind of thing where it's like maybe like peas and chickpeas, maybe potatoes. Uh, if I Pull it open, yeah, I see green peas on the interior. So, besides the mayo, it's an all-vegetarian sandwich. I'm sure if you get it without the mayo, it's completely vegan. Let's go try the taste of it all together. The red onions give it a nice spiciness to it. The tomato and the patty, it's just all mushy together. 
there's not really texture to it. Um, good on the spices. What the spices that are on the patty are good, but the texture of just mush, peas, and it feels like peas and potatoes. But it's like all mush. We'll take one more bite. It's unfortunate for India because we have two major religions that eliminate both beef and pork from their diets. So since such a large population has two things they can't consume, McDonald's really doesn't offer those things in India. They have chicken sandwiches, chicken, what they call chicken burgers. Um, which I probably would prefer to this one because this one's not good. Um, so India, I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. The next place we're going to, I believe, is Costa Rica. Costa Rica, yeah. Costa Rica has the Mushroom Deluxe McCrispy. The Mushroom Deluxe McCrispy Artisan Roll Crispy Chicken Filet Swiss Cheese Crispy Garlic Crispy onions, sliced mushrooms, and mayonnaise. So here we go. Here's what it looks like. It's on an artisan roll. This one, what I looked for online, I couldn't find anything for it. So I don't know if the Costa Rican McDonald's doesn't just doesn't have good websites, but uh, artisan roll. You have crispy pieces. I'm guessing some of them are onion and some of them are garlic. Uh, I'm guessing the ones that look more like little fingers are onion strips, and the ones that look like flat discs are probably garlic pieces. And I'm dropping them all over the place, so let's try it out before I lose them all. Excuse me. Hmm. That is heavy on the garlic flavor. I don't know if the mayo on here is a garlic mayo. No, it just tastes like mayo. The garlic crispy pieces on here are super garlicky. Not much flavor to the mushrooms. Onions have a nice onion ringy quality to them. When you bite into those crispy garlic, it's just boom garlic in your mouth. Mm. You got something in there. I'm going to look back to the name because it's not easy to remember. Oh, the Swiss cheese too, yeah. So, this is called the Mushroom Deluxe McCrispy from Costa Rica. And it's really good. The chicken, the Swiss, and the garlic go really well together. There's a good garlic flavor. It's not like overpowering or like you're not going to like reek garlic from your pores for days. This is just a really tasty like toasted uh, caramelized garlic flavor. And that one is good. The artisan roll is perfect for that one as well. Moving forward. McDonald's calls these Twister Fries. 
you can see them right here. And these are from McDonald's Malaysia. They're basically just curly fries. And that's what they taste like. You've had curly fries before? You know what these taste like. They're pretty good. They're not as warm as I would like them to be. Partially my fault. I'm bringing them home. Waiting too long to eat them. But not bad for being slightly cold. Still crispy. Still got all the seasoning. Tastes like a curly fry. And lastly, we have a dessert today. Apparently, when you order an ice cream cone to go, they give it to you in this kind of cup. This is from Saudi Arabia, and it is the chocolate waffle cone sundae with Oreo. So they call it a waffle cone sundae. Typically, when I think sundae, I think in a bowl, not in a cone. It's a cone sundae, but it is a chocolate cone. It has a uh, Oreo topping on a regular uh, ice cream base. And guess what was working today? The ice cream machine. I think at the global McDonald's, they take a little bit of extra care in making sure the ice cream machine is working. Let's go ahead and try it out. First, just the ice cream, the Oreo topping. Tastes like an Oreo Sunday Oreo McFlurry. I'm going to try to get like a bite of the cone on this one. Mm, it's crispy, chocolatey, wafery. But good. This will be something that all McDonald's could do. It doesn't require too much additional stuff. You just need these chocolate cones. You already got ice cream. You already got Oreo toppings from the McFlurries. Just stock some of these chocolate cones. Oh, and make sure that your ice cream machine's working. Those are tasty. I'll put it down back here to free up my hands. So I can wish you guys a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the global favorites from the McDonald's here in Chicago, the global headquarters of McDonald's on Randolph Street. If you're in Chicago, go ahead and try them out. Uh, it's not downtown, it's slightly off downtown in Randolph. Uh, which is in the Fulton Market area, which is a new bustling area of Chicago that's been really growing over the last five years. Um, tons of like nightlife stuff and restaurants and shopping to do there now, uh, where it's like it was kind of like meatpacking and factories and little tiny shops not too long ago. Uh, now there's huge buildings. I think Google built a building there. McDonald's has their headquarters there. So yeah, it's grown pretty quickly in a relatively short amount of time. Uh, so if you're in Chicago, it's a great place to visit. The Fulton Market area has the McDonald's headquarters. If uh, the ice cream machine is broken, go down the street. We have a Jenny's location there. Jenny's ice cream is amazing. And to that I'll say so long. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.